Hey everyone, how's it going? What is up? It is me, Windstalker. And today we're going to be talking about the TV series Stitchers, which is like one part Matrix, one part The Cell. Well, actually, it really does remind me of The Cell quite a bit because um, it's basically what they do. I mean, The Matrix, yeah, because, you know, the whole machine thing and they go into, you know, in and then they... But the only thing is, she doesn't actually, you know, do ninjutsu and fight and everything. But what she does do is do what, like in Cell, sort of. Uh, if you haven't seen that movie, it's, um, uh, shoot, I forgot what her name is, but she goes inside people's brains using this machine, and she tries to solve crimes by, you know, walking through people's memories, which is basically the same thing that the show does. Uh, it seems to be similarly heavily inspired by it because this woman goes inside these dead people's bodies. Of course, the people in the cell are alive, uh, for the most part. And, uh, well, yeah, they're alive. I forgot. I haven't watched that movie in a while. But, um, they're alive. And she can go inside and they have a machine that, uh, this, you know put the memories back together again and all this other stuff and she goes in and she basically follows memories to solve crimes so it's kind of like NCSI, CSI, Bones, um, Castle, you know all those procedural shows that you know show you how you know that when they go around solving crimes and in this one the main objective of course is to go into people's brains of course she can only be in there for like five minutes I think the cell, the time limit didn't matter, you could basically go in there, you know, however long you wanted, and all this good stuff, and then this one, you kind of, like, sit into a uh, chair that's in water, because I guess water helps, uh, make connection, I don't know, there's no wires really hooked up into her, it's like, the body goes into this machine, that has like a door on it and it kind of works like a um, coroner's uh, thing but only without the but it has glass and a machine on it that shows the picture of the person and all that other good stuff and basically once they're inside they're through the floor it goes up into this uh, they call it the fish tank ironically because it looks like a fish tank and the lady sits in the chair, has one of those keyboards that looks like it's made out of plexiglass with keys on it, like a keyboard and everything. And she lays in this chair and she, I guess through water connection she's able to um, go into people's brains for like five minutes at a time. And she, can, uh, she has to take a break in between these things, which is anywhere from a few minutes to up to six hours I guess and she basically goes into people's main brains at five minutes at pop until their brains uh, deteriorate enough where she can no longer do it and that's the gist of the show and I can see why people have mixed reviews on the show because you know the whole gist of it is she goes in and then she comes out with the um, knowledge that she sees in people's uh, memories to do the whole thing and then once she does that she's like you know in there and then she goes into the world world to solve the thing by going to places that the person's been to look around see if I clues you know and um, she has I forget the I think it's I zombie that's the closest to this where when she gets out of the tank and she has the, um, you know, been in the person's brain, she has residual emotions and feelings and stuff like that from the victim, which, um, recently deceased, I guess is the better term, um, where in iZombie, she eats the brains and she remembers stuff and gets the people's, uh, personalities. And I guess she kind of gets the person's personality when she's in this thing. So, and yes, I've seen episodes of Eye Zombie, so it's kind of weird. 
Um, we'll get into that a little later. Like, in one episode, she went into this uh, woman's brain that fancy the fancy life and or no yeah the fancy life and she went on a little bit of a shopping spree and bought some fancy smancy stuff it's like oh okay and uh, uh, she was emotionally charged when she went into this woman's head where she was truly in love with her fiance so she experienced what love and all that stuff is which she never knew and she's one of those people that is a made up you know term but where she doesn't experience time where she can't tell one second from five minutes and um i'm almost done with the first season i think i'm on like nine or ten and there's only eleven in the first season and it seems okay i don't think I would watch it on a regular basis. Uh, just for the due fact that it's interesting, and the fact that we're test driving Hulu for uh, 30 days, um, which seems to be all right. It has a lot of programs on it and everything. I was looking for a way to replace cable, but it doesn't seem to. Um, make the old lady happy because she uh, seems to want to keep cable which I can understand that because she was expecting more lifetime because she likes lifetime and all they have is like the lifetime network and she also likes lifetime movie and lifetime is on it the only thing is is that um shows she's that hey uh, from lifetime I just go redneck. Anyway, uh, or Forrest Gump. My name is Forrest. Forrest Gump. Oh, no, it's... My name is Forrest. People call me Forrest Gump. No, it's... My name is Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. Or, I know, I keep messing that up. I'm going to quit before I get onto a thing about it because that was on TV the other day and I don't like the TV version of it. But... And I do a very bad impersonation of Forrest Gump right now since I've been sick. I think I've had the flu all weekend. And that's part of the reason why you guys didn't get a video Friday. is because I had flu issues. And yeah, it wasn't pretty. Um, so there's that. And ironically, I still have some remnants of the flu. So if I cough here in a second, it's because... I've been coughing all weekend and I can't seem to stop. But let's get back to the show. So, she solves crime, and I know you're probably looking at this going, yeah, don't ask. The old lady wanted to put him in the car because it, the seatbelt strangles her and she, we had to put him on both sides. So, yeah. And I'm thinking about getting rid of it because it drives me crazy. But at any rate, um, yeah, we get to go over this little bump because the um, people. Yeah, that wasn't funny. Okay, let's fix that. Uh, they decided to dig a hole in the ground near the gas station, the quality gas station, um, for whatever reason. I don't know what exactly what they were doing, but they decided that they was going to dig a hole in the ground, and that was that. And. Uh, I'm trying to listen to the new Five Finger Death Punch, but I decided to make this video while it was fresh in my brain on the phone. And, um, so yeah, she goes into people's brains, helps solve crime. They recruited a uh, FBI agent to help, which is why it reminds me of Bones. Because technically in Bones, they, um, the um, Smithsonian recruited, and anyway, I don't know. Maybe the FBI... I haven't watched the first season. I think it's the FBI recruited the Smithsonian, but whatever. And so it's kind of like that. It feels like a combination of a bunch of shows. So I can see why people were confused and why it gets mixed reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and everything. Tomato and everything. And I like it, but at the exact same time, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. 
I mean, like I said, I'm probably not going to watch it on a regular basis. Because if we decide to keep Hulu, I can always catch up on it. And, you know, whatever. Of course, there's only two seasons of it, so it isn't too hard to keep up with it right now. And... It seems interesting. I'm just kind of wondering if the truth ever really eventually gets out. Because the girl that's the person that goes in the tank... Um, supposedly has a mother and father that created the Stitchers program. And she um, basically is trying to find out a bunch about her family and everything. And this guy named Ed and all this. And it's like, okay. And while well, she's a Stitcher herself. So it's like, yeah. Good going. Smooth. Have fun. Um... But yeah, and that rattle, I don't know what it is. We put a new motor in the car, and it's running a lot better than it used to. It doesn't vibrate as much. I'm wondering if it's spark plugs or cables or something that's making that rattling noise. So I'm sorry if that's getting on your nerves. It doesn't do it when I'm going, so that's a bonus. <coughs> mm, I knew that was coming. So... It's an interesting program, and of course, I didn't think I was going to like Bones, NCSI. Um, I've never got into Sleepy Hollow yet. Some of those other programs. But uh, CSI, Las Vegas, Miami, New, um, um, NCSI, Los Angeles. It's kind of like all those programs wrapped in a neat little bow. And the characters, well... The characters are interesting enough, I guess. But at the exact same time... Um, I feel like... I don't know, it's kind of like... The way Bones is. You know, where she... Doesn't understand things, even though she's highly intelligent. I mean, the girl... Understands a lot. She's supposed to be highly intelligent. And at the exact same time, it's kind of like... She's cold... I don't know if that's how they meant for it to come off or whatever. But, at any rate, that's where I stand with the show. It's interesting. I'll probably continue watching it up until the point where it's, I'm caught up to, into the second season. Then it's iffy. Because um, I started watching iZombie and that's alright. And then I kind of bailed on that after a bit too because, well, let's face it. I'm not more, uh, I'm more of a gamer than to sit down and watch TV or, or a movie or anymore. I find that kind of stuff kind of boring at times. And, uh, Hulu I thought was going to be a good replacement for, um, cable. But with the $12 you pay for commercial free stuff, it's kind of like, I don't know. So, there's that. Don't know if we're going to uh, go with Hulu after the 30-day trial. Uh, we might. It might be a good investment. Of course, if we're going to keep cable, I don't know. Um, I'm rambling. It's an interesting program. It's got its highs and lows like any program. Um, gee, I don't know what else to say. It's like... But at any rate, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Chilios.